Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, it's really nice to welcome you Pam and Ellen to um, take part with um, Pam and I um, in terms of uh, today's Carers video podcast. Um, and maybe I'll start off just by saying who we are so that everybody knows um, who we are. So I'm Sean, Sean Neal, and I manage our recovery and resilience services. And then there's Pam, Pam Khan, who's the Carer Star uh, Coordinator, and of course, the, the newer part of that project, Carers Connect. And then welcome uh, to Pam, Pammy, and Dylan, who are both carers and local carers in, in the Merthyr area, who have kindly um, agreed to um, come in and have a chat with us today about uh, your role as carers, but more importantly, um, about uh, what, what you do in the Carers uh, Start and Carers Connect uh, project. So maybe just to um, start off, uh, Pam, is, is it an idea just for you to give us um, just some information about what, what the project is all about? Yeah, Sean, um, the Carers Star project um, provides support and assistance to adult carers living in the Merthyr Tidville area. Um, I suppose the project helps carers to understand um, their own needs really because um, you know it's a difficult role so we try and get them to understand the issues that they face every day recognize that so that we can help them better really I suppose um, under normal circumstances we would meet the carer at home or a place of their choice but obviously because of Covid we cannot do that now so um, we have to look at our project very differently and to see how we could help carers in a different way using different methods really. So um, so we offer it, as I say, we offer it slightly different using social media. Um, we contact the carer via phone initially and then tell them all about the project, the media project and how they can benefit from that. Um, they can have one-to-one -one support um, through social media, mainly using WhatsApp, you know, and um, we reach out to the carers that way. Uh, we run a social media group then that people can join in every week and we get a lot from that. The carers have fed that back to me that they, you know, they find it very useful. They can chat about different issues that's going on. We can generally sort of have a a catch up if you like to see what's been going on in their lives. Some of our carers, um, have, uh, this group have been going for a while now, so um, it's been useful to them. They've made friendships, you know, and we have a, a laugh. Sometimes we have a quiz. <laughs> we all take turns in being quiz master. So it's been useful, you know, to people to um, link in with other people, you know, and connect with other carers really. So that's it, really, in a nutshell. Lovely, and maybe now is a good time just to pull Pammy and Dylan in and just to get a sense from your perspective of, of what the, you know, what, of what, what it feels like to you. Does Pam, Pammy, do you want to go first? Yes, I, um, I have been shielded in since March and so is my husband. Um, we're quite reluctant to go out at the moment, as we did go out once and, and were quite frightened of the people that were around that were barging into us and going the wrong way up and down the aisles. So this project with Pam and the others is quite important to me because I have a view of the outside world from other people and I also get a chance to pour out anything that I have that's holding inside me on a one-to-one -one basis or on a friendship basis. And it, it really has been something that has been quite important to me since March that we've had these meetings. It's been really good. Great, Pam. And what, what about you, Dylan? Uh, yeah, uh, what is, um, I gotta be honest, it's been a test in time for everybody for the last four and a half months. And I'm very grateful to be part of Mind for the support I've received from Pam 
I'm Annie and yourselves in Merthyr Didwell has been tremendous and also I've made friends and you can track different things which help you out because when you're on your own you can't go to anybody else like family or friends because they don't see the side what you've got to go through so like Pam will take a conversation off me I encourage me to carry on tidy you know same as uh, Pamela, the other one, Pamela as well. We can talk about like a husband and my wife same, face similar injuries and stuff like that. And it's nice to get it off your chest. I gotta be honest with you. So I'm very happy that I was I'm associated with mind, to be honest with you. Thank you very much for offering me the help. And the thing is, in terms of what, what the project offers, as, as you rightly said, Dylan and Pam, there's that opportunity for peer support, isn't it? So you're able to sort of um, connect with other carers, other people who know what it's like to, to care for somebody else and has a good, a good understanding of, of what it is that you do, isn't it? So you're able to provide that support to each other then as well, isn't it? Yeah, we, every Wednesday, if we can make it, obviously, because of circumstances, um, we do have a chat and as Pam said, we have a laugh, we have a quiz, and it does give you the hour or whatever time you spend a break from doing your care as, duties as well, you know which it's easy to say from, from the outside, but when you're doing it, it's hard work. And that's why I'm very grateful that I can join in and we can have a chat with different people, as I said earlier on. And, um, well, I got, and I had counselling personally. I had counselling from uh, Mind, which I found was very grateful and done me a lot, you know. Give me my mojo back, as I say, you know. I can carry on going because I do get times when you just feel like giving up. That's, that's, imp that's important, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very important. It's important that you get the support that you need, so it enables you to carry on with your role as a carer then, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You got, you know, you've got times when you feel like giving up and you like, I can't. And then it's only a phone call, I've got to make the palm. And then it's back on the road again, happy days. Yeah. And it's tremendous. Honestly, I won't believe it. Mm -hmm. so I'm very grateful to be offered the opportunity to be part of mine. Is there anything else that you'd like to add, Pammy? Just that it's 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 been a really hard year for me from last September, and I've had lots of support off Pam and off Annie with, with the things that have been going on outside my care in life. Um, I don't know if you want to know, but I lost my brother who was sixty-five. He had a heart attack when he was on holidays and he, he just died and then I lost my grandson who was 19 and he had a heart problem and I've had support over that amount of time as well as the support that I've had as being a carer. It's, it's, it's been quite a tough year anyway for people despite everything that's going on in your personal life isn't it Pam? Yeah. Uh, and as you say you've had two bereavements in your family to sort of deal with as well. So having sort of help, not just from myself, from Han Annie and, and the, the group, that has helped you, you know, quite a bit, I think, hasn't it? You know, yeah. talking them feelings with, you know, other people. We've had laughter, we've had tears, haven't we? And we've, you know, yeah. we've, we've just been human, if that makes sense, to each other, isn't it, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it sounds like a, a really sort of supportive network for people. It just makes you seem like a person again. I'm sorry to in interrupt you, John, but that's the way I feel. It makes you feel that you were a person again, yeah. not just somebody's carer or, 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 or you know somebody's doing somebody shopping. Or you were important, and it fe it makes you feel like that when you've got the support that you were fit important too. That's, that's, that's great because that's so important, isn't it? To, you know, be still be Pammy, isn't it? You know. <laughs> so yes, and I understand that. That's that's a good point actually because you get lost in that caring role almost, don't you? You know, you become a carer, and and you know you want to be someone other than the carer, isn't it? You know. That's really important, isn't it? And we must lose sight of that. And that, that, that's what the project, one of the aims of the project is, is to be providing that support, isn't it? And um, making sure that you've got those opportunities to connect with others, as well as getting the support that you need, isn't it? Yeah. 
I That's think right. lots of lots of conversations have gone on between the group, you know, a good morning, a good night, isn't it? You know, how are you today? So besides the sort of weekly group meetings, there's conversations go on daily, you know. So and and for me that's really you know it's nice to see it's really important that that has happened as a result of this project so well, it's important for us to say pam as well isn't it that because i know that we've talked about murtha but the carers connect project also reaches out to rc2 from the command tab and pretend doesn't it it does yes yes we we have had someone uh, John from Pregend. Um, I've had conversations with her and um, she's going to be joining us in our uh, peer support group um, shortly. She couldn't do it this week, but she, she will be joining us. So that's nice, isn't it, to sort of reach people in that area? Yeah. And also for carers from, you know, right across the board to, to connect with each other and, um, and develop new friendships, I guess, isn't it, Pammy and Dylan? It's an opportunity to do that, isn't it? Yeah, it's I, as we are, we're all in the same boat. I mean, that's the way I look at it now. From our, our carers, right? We're dealing with people who are in a very similar situation. Myself, they got sympathy for you, and you got sympathy for them, and we got the back end of mind, which has been tremendous. I gotta be honest, I can't thank you enough. Like, it's brilliant. Uh, as I said, uh, any issues I got, I've only got a phone palm, and she's there straight away for me, like, like a big sister kind of thing, you know. And what you need. <laughs> You don't need it anyway. It's my, a compliment. Sister's <laughs> my sister's a lot. Older. Am I your older sister, Dylan? <laughs> no, but it's true, isn't it? You know, it's nice to have somebody to talk to. Like, they, you can't pass your troubles on to your family because they don't listen to you. They do, but they, they worry more then. It's been, it's been very helpful for me, I've got to be honest with you. I can't fault it. Good. Um, was, you be, sorry. No, I was going to say, I wish other people would take up, on, I don't know what it is, with like a, a man kind of thing. Perhaps, I'm not just saying it because it's me. Perhaps they're frightened to come forward to speak to yourselves. Because, oh, we are the man, you know, and all that. But I was offered a leaflet from the mental health team and I took it up. And i got to be honest, it was the best thing I'd done. So, what's, your, oh, what's your message, Dylan, for the other male carers out there? What would your message be to them? about we're only human and you need help like everybody else which is true i i was struggling in the beginning i'm struggling now but i know i only gonna pick up the phone and i got help straight away yeah. which you do need and he said uh, when it times are hard and i just hope the gentleman around here will listen and say oh i know i could do that i'm glad he's a bloke that kind of thing i'll do it now because some people are funny like that but they, they shouldn't be ashamed of this they've got to look after their health and this, this will give a good Um, I'm still here. Yeah, I don't know what happened then. It froze, the picture froze, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm still here as well. Oh. We lost you then. You're back now, so that's great. But that's a really important message you just shared with us, Dylan. And that that is for uh, you know whether you're uh, you know a male or female to yeah. reach out and ask for that help if you need that help, isn't it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, if anybody needed that help, can they can they just get in touch with you? Yes, absolutely. Um, we will give the phone number at the end of this um, podcast, and they can just get in touch with me, whether they care or not. Really, I suppose because if someone is looking for help, a male, a female, you know, I can sort of signpost them then, you know, regardless of um, being a carer or not. That's probably a good place to to finish off for today, and uh, maybe we can pick up um, at at another date uh, to follow through some of um, our uh, conversation. But but thank you, Pammy and Dylan, so much for uh, joining Pam and I. Uh, we're really really grateful for uh, you know for you taking the time out from your caring role to do that, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you again soon. Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you both. I do appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.